Hey guys, it's math time. Are you glad that it's time to do math? You know Miss Carlson loves to do math. It's her favorite. So we're gonna open up our book to our bookmark. And now we're gonna do something crazy. We're gonna take my bookmark out and we're gonna flip our page. You know, sometimes we skip stuff in our math book. We're gonna skip this part right here. And we're gonna flip until we get to this really pretty page. It looks like a jungle with monkeys and lions. You see this page? We're gonna do this review page and then we're gonna take our first math test at home. How exciting is that? So we're gonna do this review and then we'll do our test next, okay? So on this page, I'm gonna tell you some instructions and I want you to do it in your book. The first thing I want you to do is to draw another bird flying above the trees. You see the trees? Here's a bird flying above the trees. Let's draw another bird. I'm not good at birds, but I'm going to try. And that looks like a sick bird, doesn't it? <laughs> All his feathers are falling out. But he's above the tree, so that's good. All right, the next thing we're going to do is circle the animal behind the tree. Circle the animal behind the tree. Who's hiding behind the tree? That silly lion, we're going to circle him. He's hiding behind the tree. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a coconut beside a monkey. There's lots of monkeys. So you can pick where you want to put your coconut. Coconut grows on these trees. It just sort of looks like a oval or a circle. I'm going to draw one right here on his tail. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a monkey next to one of the lion cubs. See the little lion cubs, they're baby lions. We're gonna try to draw a monkey. Think we can do that? We're gonna draw his head, some big eyeballs, a smile, some big ears. Tummy, his arm, and his legs. Ooh, can't forget his tail. They have long tails, don't they? All right, so draw you a monkey next to the baby lion cubs. All right, now I want you to circle the monkey below the branch. Is this monkey below the branch? No. What about this guy? Mm -mm. Is he below? Here's the branch. He's below the branch. So we're going to circle him. He's so silly. He reminds me of some of our girls, Edie Grace and Millie and Ella and Gentry and Emma Scott hanging upside down on those monkey bars. That's what he looks like to me. All right, the last thing we're gonna do on this page is put an X on the lions in front of the tree. You see these lions? They're in front of the tree. We're gonna put an X on them. Good job. All right, we're gonna look on this page on number one where we see the bubbles. Put an X on the bubble that is above or over the bottle. Put an X above or over. Number two. Draw a box around the flower that is below or under the green flower. Here's the green flower. What flower is below the green flower? Orange. So we're going to draw a box. Good job. All right, number three. We're going to draw a crayon next to the box. 
Should I draw a crayon in the box or next to the box? Next to the box. All right, number four, draw a dog bone beside the bowl. Draw a dog bone beside the bowl. My puppy Tank is taking a nap, but he would love a bone. They're his favorite. All right. On this pretty page, it's like they're having a picnic. Have you had a picnic outside? It's a fun idea when it's so pretty outside. On this page, I want you to circle the object above the dog. Circle the object above the dog. What's above the dog? Frisbee. Put an X on the animal that is next to the black cat. See the black cat? Who's next to him? The gray cat. So we're going to put an X on him. Draw a bird below the sun. Sun, so you're going to draw a bird below. Is that below? No. Below, right here, below it, under the sun. Now, the last thing we're going to do on this page is underline the object that is on the blanket next to the girl with the red book. You see the girl with the red book? What is on the blanket next to her? The picnic basket. So we're going to underline it. Good job. All right, this last review page. We're going to put an X on the butterfly that is above the flower pot. You see the flower pot? The butterfly above the flower pot. We're going to put an X on it. Now we're going to draw a box around the animal that is in front of the baby bear. See baby bear? We're going to draw a box around the animal in front of baby bear. Looks like that raccoon. Draw a circle around the bees that are below the beehive. Do you see the beehive? Draw a box. Oops, I said the wrong word. Draw a circle around the bees that are below the beehive. A circle. And the last thing on this page is circle the window that is beside the door. There's two windows. Which one is beside the door? Not above, but beside. That one right there. Good job. All right, I think y'all are ready for our math test. This math test is going to be so easy to y'all because y'all are working so hard. Remember, I'm going to read you the instructions. You need to listen real carefully to all the words. Because sometimes it might ask you to circle. Sometimes it might ask you to put an X on something. So you need to make sure you're listening so you know what to do. All right. Animals everywhere around us. Some animals are pets. Some animals are helpers. And some animals live in the forest and jungles. Let's look at part A. How many animals are above the bed? Circle them, write the number. I'm gonna write your number right here. Circle them and write the number. Part B, with the tree. Draw an X on the plant that is next to the deer. Draw an X on the plant that is next to the deer. Right beside the deer. 
Good job. Let's flip our page. Part C. Part C. How many objects are in front of the squirrel? Circle them, write the number. How many objects are in front of the squirrel? Circle them, write the number. Part D. Draw a box around the animal that is next to the giraffe. Draw an X on the animal that is beside the plant. Beside the plant. All right, guys, that's it for our math test. You'll have to let your mom count and see how many you got right. I bet you did a wonderful job. And look what's next in our math book. Lots of shapes. Does this remind you of our shape song? Can't wait to learn about shapes with you. I hope that y'all have a great day and we'll talk tomorrow with a fun math game.